Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Forbidden Jungle. Isn't that like way too long? It has been like three, maybe even four months. It's crazy. I'm so sorry to keep you guys waiting. I seriously enjoyed building again in this park and we're finally completing the water boat ride now isn't that awesome i'm so happy it's finally done i'm, I'm i was a little bit disappointed that it it's not as exciting as afraid as i wanted it to be in the end of the ride but still when you just compare it to like a jungle cruise at disneyland or something like that i think we're totally fine with the part of the realistic stuff so i think i think it's totally fine in the end and of course i already tried to record a pov but it's gonna take a little bit uh longer time because like there are so many different angles at the boat that i'm not really sure like how do i want to um show it to you guys because well some stuff happens on the left side some stuff happens at the right side some stuff happens in the front so uh and also in the back so it's a little bit hard like how am i gonna do this am i gonna record it like one pov with like separate screens next to it from different angles or I i'm just trying to figure that out so it's not like i'm gonna finish the pov in a few days or anything like that but do know i'm working on it and thinking of how i can record it the best way for you guys to show it and uh yeah it's a it's a bit of a struggle but i really am enjoying it and i'm really happy that it's done so i hope you guys will enjoy it too and that you are super excited for the pov of course and um, I also did a little bit of finishing touches at the main street area. So that is kind of done. Like we also had that flat ride and I'm not really sure if that's the hurricane or that I'm confused with the name I gave it to it in Rio Bravo, my Western series. So I'm not really sure if it's the hurricane, but you will see later in the video, of course, what ride I'm talking about. But we're also finishing that one and we had like that... Um, cave-ish thingy and i placed a lot of roots there a lot of greenish it's just a really a junglish feeling i guess that is the main purpose of that little area and i kind of like it so i hope you guys will enjoy that specific area too and also you remember that huge terrace that was like just going up from the main street area just temporarily i finally redid that um that stairs so it's not like one straight stairs going up anymore it's now a little bit going into caves and i didn't decorate it that much only like the beginning you will see in this video but there's still a lot of decoration and a lot of placing trees and rocks to do because yeah well it's it's a jungle so i really feel like as always i just really need to place a lot of trees and a lot of bushes and that kind of stuff and of course, we're also ready to start building some more rides at our volcano. So that's going to be really excited. I didn't do that much of that building in this area. I did do a lot of scenery and, um, well, finishing this boat ride, of course. And I think that next episode, we can definitely start building more rides uh, at the jungle volcano. Also, I tried to start a coaster at the volcano but honestly it was really really hard like i'm trying to to use different coasters and that kind of stuff but until now it wasn't really a big success so i really hope i can add a jungle uh, coaster through the mountain over the volcano but I'm not really sure if I'm able to do so because until now it was just really a lot of crap. So uh, bear with me and maybe I should ask some help from Rudy Van Camo or Silverad to help me with the coaster because uh, it's it's really a tough one and I'm, I'm actually not even sure if they uh, can manage to create a coaster going along with the terrain of the volcano. So bear with me. <laughs> doing my best i'm hoping that we can have a coaster somewhere at least so um yeah we just need to test that and maybe we can try to decide maybe to use a different maybe a water ride or something like that because that could also definitely fit in a the jungle theme right so there there are lots of options 
to use for the island and to play some more rides. And if you guys have any other suggestions, of course, please put them in the, in the comment section because I would love to read them all. Um, oh, talking about the comment section, I did wrote that since it was such a long time ago, I was like, okay, it doesn't really fit to put in every comment. Uh, but let's just see, like I pick four to answer or it was just really fun to read and it does make a little bit sense still to name them. So let me just start with MK Creators Animation Studio. That's the username. <laughs> hey lady, I hope everything goes well with you, even though you haven't uploaded for two months. Okay, it's now again three or four months. Oh yay. <laughs> that doesn't mean we will stop waiting for those awesome creations of you to come out. Hope everything goes well and that we'll see more of your gorgeous creations. Greets Maddie. And by the way, maybe do an area in the Lady in Wonderland slash Wonderland Studios. <laughs> kind of like a Pixar thing, but then in real life. So where fairy tale movies get recorded and stuff. Now I found this comment super hilarious. First of all, because of the two months. Like, oh gosh, we are like three months ahead again right now. I'm so, so sorry for that. I will make sure that won't happen again. And second of all, that you are like, yeah, maybe you could do... Because when I was recording episode 13, uh, we just had the studios park, if I remember correctly. And I was like asking, like, what should we do? I'm not really sure how to use it, blah, blah, blah. And then I started the Lady Studios. And uh, until like a few weeks ago, I didn't tell you guys that it was a combination of the Lady in Wonderland and the Lady Studios, which are two... Um, two separate series but combined into one park so in the end we only have two parks to build with <laughs> but it's quite funny that you mentioned that the lady in wonderland slash wonderland studios it's only the lady studios but you're always uh, almost right <laughs> but uh yeah i really hope you guys like it and as i said i really hope that i can continue this park more regularly together with the lady wonderland and the lady studios of course we will have jurassic world evolution next to it and we try will try to do some different games next to it on the channel as well so i really hope you all will like that um so let me get to the next comment it's from calling husa and that was only just a week ago so it's not really that old comment Please finish this series. You have become my favorite Planet Coaster YouTuber. I can't stop watching your videos. I have one suggestion. Do a roller coaster that goes through a volcano and spirals around the island. Call it the Aztec Quest. You can add anything else to it. Then please do a POV of it. I love this series and continue doing it. Well, as I just said, like I'm not really sure I tried. I'm not really the best coaster creator. But I really tried to build a coaster myself and it didn't really work out. So hopefully, um, maybe I can ask some help from Silver Rudy Ren Camel and maybe they can achieve to make a nice and awesome looking roller coaster going over this volcano island because it's 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 probably a pretty hard island. I think that's also uh, my me to blame, I'm afraid. But I still have hopes, guys. I still have hopes. I'm not going to say never or no, we're not going to have a coaster. We're just going to keep trying, I guess. <laughs> um, another comment from Edestus. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Can you download this off the, uh, to the workshop? I want to see it in depth for my own park. You're doing great and I think that the park looks great to have fun and make sure to also enjoy the beauty of simplicity in some places. See you in the next episode. Well, um, I'm not going to upload my parks. I never do that with my parks. I never upload them before they are completely done, which could mean it can take like a year or two, unfortunately, before um, I can upload it. I I'm not really sure, like Rio Bravo, we built for like a year or so at the, uh, to that park. And we also had the Lady in Wonderland and that one is probably running already one and a half year but there's just so much to do and a lot of time in between so that's why it takes way longer than 
you would love to because I would love to finish a park like every half a year but that's just not possible and this is not with my daytime job next to it so I'm sorry to disappoint you but I'm not going to upload it anytime soon at the workshop I'm afraid but hopefully my videos can still inspire you of course to uh, help you with your own creations uh, so guys I am going to end this video. May I really thank you guys all so much for watching. Of course, we will have a bit more speed build and then uh, a lot of cinematic shots to give you guys a real idea of what we have so far around the boat ride and the main street. Yeah, well, I, I call it main street, but it's not really a main street. It's just a shopping area, but in kind of way with all these kind of shops from the entrance it's somehow a main street i don't know <laughs> for those who don't know my name is the lady designer please make sure of course to subscribe if you already haven't and please everyone leave a like at the video because it really does help the channel please let me know all your amazing new ideas in the comment section and who knows maybe we will get new planet coaster news this week that will be amazing or maybe a week after who knows gonna be excited and um i just really hope to see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys